Okay, so we've gone over this before, but I don't know if it fell on some deaf ears or what the issue was. But in today's video, I'm going to show you guys once again how to shut down PA boot over. Again and again, and again and again. Guys, it is June. It is June. Please listen. These are free interceptions. Free interceptions on the other side of this intro. Let's get into it. <laughs> What is up guys, Dan from the Zaman YouTube channel and PA boot over is still one of the most spam plays in Madden 22. It has been all year, whether it's the escape artist or the delay fade or just throwing the post up over the top, players do not have an answer for this. What's up guys, just wanna say thank you so much for helping me reach 13,000 subscribers here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel. It means a ton to me that you guys are still supporting in the late spring into the early summer and we're gonna be pushing forward towards Madden 23 before you know it. If you guys could do me a quick favor make sure that you guys hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and if you're really wanting to help, make sure you guys drop a comment below. It helps push this video in the algorithm and helps this content get out to other Madden players just like you that are looking for Madden tips tutorials. Now back to the video. You guys here on the channel, you guys have seen some of the videos that I have put out where we talk about protect the sticks and cover three cloud, but there's one tip in particular that I put out that has completely changed the game for me defensively. And I know for a lot of you guys, you probably have seen this, but you don't actually put this into practice nearly enough. I wanna go ahead and hammer home the importance when you face the bunch tight end, the most important thing you can do is man up the running back. I'm gonna say that again. The most important thing that you should do when facing bunch tight end is man up the running back. No, I do not care that Texas routes, in routes and out routes can beat man coverage. That does not matter whatsoever. It is the hidden rules of zone coverage that are unlocked when you man up the running back or the pull route in general that allows you to basically defend and get free extra possessions because your opponents will not know what you are doing to them and how you're defending their PA boot over. So let's go ahead and hit the field. The coverage that we're gonna run is the cover three cloud. I have a much better coverage for this over on gridirongameplans.gg. I know it's late in the year. Go over to Gridiron Game Plans, $9.95 a month. You can unlock the entire website. That's everything I've done all year long. This is the best time of the year to learn and kind of expand your Madden library to the point that you're gonna be able to really take a lot of these concepts that, you know, players that are on the website listen, but there's a lot of you guys out there that still are stubborn for whatever reason when it comes to defending this play. Take those concepts and apply them. Seriously, no better time. Go over to the website right now. Let's get into it. Cover three cloud. What we're going to do here is we're going to man up the running back man up the running back. And the reason for that is that tells the deep zone that he does not have to worry about the running back wheel. So it doesn't matter who it is, anybody on the field. I'm just going to make it real easy for you. I'm going to take my user and man him up. You could take a lineman and man up the running back if you wanted to, and then lurk, you know, make sure you blitz your user so that way you have uh, four guys rushing so that way the other three can shed. But it's up to you how you want to do this. Somebody has to be in man to man on the running back. I'm going to put uh, a defensive tackle. Let's put Stewart on him. Now, what this is going to do, and I'm going to spy the rush so they don't shed. Uh, what this is going to do is it's going to tell this guy right here, Willis, to get back on the post. So as it pertains to this route combo, everybody likes to have a streak, a whip, a uh, post, and then a running back wheel. And then they just basically max protect it. You're going to see here that the guy being in man coverage on this particular route allows that outside third to get back underneath this, and you can't throw it over the top. It's going to get intercepted every single time. I don't care what release they have. I don't care what velocity ability they have, it will be intercepted nearly every single time, especially so if you use generic three. I know a lot of you guys don't like hearing it, but those velocity abilities on generic three are absolutely terrible. They are. I'm sorry. Traditional one throws a zippier pass. Slinger one throws a zippier pass. Even if there's a little bit more of a wind up, the velocity that you get on those two releases is far better on this throw. So for those of you that are out there running around with generic three, you're going to be throwing a lot more interceptions against this particular defensive tip than if you were using slinger one or traditional one. But I know it's late in the year, you guys aren't gonna switch. I just wanted to leave that out there for you guys. Again, this is all about manning up the running back. If you have the running back manned up, the outside third will play the post. And it doesn't matter who it is that's manned up. Again, if I wanted to, I could rush four, just pretend that I'm going to use the running back by putting my user and man on him, and then I'll just play my hook zone anyways. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna make it so that the outside third is going to get back 
on this post. Now, right there, you saw what happens when, when, we, when we run the defense and we get a double team split. DeForest Buckner is insane. Again, I'm gonna put my user in man-to-man -man on the running back. I'm gonna spy off the rush here just so you guys can see this. And this outside third will get back. It doesn't matter if I shade down. I'll shade down into hard flats. This outside third will not be fooled by this. Just somebody being in man on the running back is enough for this to work. So again, as you see this, I want you to watch that top right safety. You see that he's gonna get back and that's gonna end up being an interception. You're just not gonna be able to throw it. Simply put, you're not gonna be able to throw it. Now, when you do shade down, he'll hang out lower just because of the shaded down. But again, he has affinity for that post route. He's not gonna be fooled by that. Let's take this concept and apply it elsewhere. We also did a video not too long ago about wheel routes. Wheel routes, again, one of those particular routes that players just don't know how to defend. If you guys know the trick of manning up the route that is the pull route, you will defend the route, which is the primary route. You man up the pull to guard the primary. Let's go ahead and do this here. I'm gonna show you guys mesh spot. Everybody knows mesh spot. So with this particular defense, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put in a linebacker. Let's uh, real quick, I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna put in a outside linebacker at this spot. So let's put in, Let's put in speed, speed. He's got a little bit more speed, uh, pun intended. But what we're gonna do here is we're going to do the man up the pull to guard the primary. So in a case of a wheel flat combo, the pull route is the flat route. It's the zone. It's the route that's designed to pull the zones to the sideline and open up the inside lead to chase Edmonds. So what we do is we put somebody into a flat, doesn't matter who. I think that it's better if you put an inside player in a flat and then you man up the pull. Right here, I'm just gonna man up the pull with my user. And I'm just gonna hang out right here. And what you're gonna see is that because that route is manned up, you see that speed is right there to pick that off. Again, this is not a coincidence. This is manning up the pull to guard the primary. Super, super important and one of the biggest elements of the reason that I lock down on defense this year. I know that you've heard all your favorite content creators, all your favorite pro players, all talking about there's no defense in this game. There's no defense in this game. The truth is that you just have to lab defense differently. It's not as simple as blitzing and mixing up your zone drops. There's a lot more to it and there's a lot more under the hood than a lot of players want to lead on. Again, you see right here, because my user number 30 was manned up on the out route, the, the hard flat that I put in the play speed and even the hard flat to the outside over the out route bite in on the wheel. I mean, you could you can see how this played. No low ball inside pass lead, easy, easy interception. If you guys wanted to, you guys could run the two, three, six, which is my favorite defense, put a coverage linebacker in where number 45 is playing because it's a defensive end. So you could sub in an outside linebacker at this spot and you could give him coverage abilities, you know, pick artist. And this is gonna be something that you will consistently get play on the ball interceptions with, just as you see right there. They're not gonna be able to throw that wheel route up the field. Again, the same type of concept can be played to the other side. So let's say that we have the ball and we wanted to run this flipped, right? So, um, you know, maybe they come out and they flip their play. At this point in time, all I'm doing is I'm gonna put Lewis into the hard flat and my user is gonna man up B. So that way, again, if B runs that out breaking route and they try to throw a wheel to the running back, that hard flat dropping off the line will be boom, right there in a spot where you cannot live on that. That was a low pass and accurate right there. Again, you cannot throw that consistently. The hard flat will not play the out route. He's gonna play the next route in because the game views that route is manned up, therefore the zone can hedge to something else. It's the same defensive concept applied deep and shallow to defend the most commonly thrown routes in the game. So whether that's PA boot over, a low ball wheel, whatever it is, use this concept. Man up the pole, the zones will play the primary. That's today's video. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, this is Ann. Get in the lab and good luck.